Greetings, normies, and welcome back to Donut Like, Donut Read. Today, we I have with me Joaquin. Stop. And Luna. Hello. So today, we are recording another story from the great uh, author, creative artist, Ron, ladies' man. This is going to be great. Uh... Um, the tag... The tagline is, suddenly Ron is the hottest guy in Middletown. All the women are loving in love with him. <laughs> and I mean all the women, even Shigo and Kim. <sighs> all the women, even Shigo and Kim. <laughs> because they're not women, I guess. Uh... Chapter one, default chapter. Part one, <laughs> the omelet of Venus. Will someone want to take care of the author's note? Hi, I wrote this story because Ron should be a ladies' man. He should get all the girls. Lol. Because he's a nice guy. He's totally a great, nice man. He's such a nice guy, you guys. <clears throat> he should get more women and he doesn't. Why doesn't he get more women? <laughs> Give, just give him all the this women. This shit keeps me up at Such a nice guy. He's just like me, for real. I've just, I've just okay. always wondered why he doesn't get more girls. Anyway, a beautiful. <laughs> Let's start the torture. A shirt. beautiful raven-haired vixen made her way through the ventilation system of the town's museum. Stop! Stop! What? Stop! <laughs> That entire first sentence. <laughs> it's major sympathy over here. The raven-haired vixen. Imagine using the word vixen. Like the only appropriate time is to refer to like a woman as a vixen is if you are the narrator for like a cop noir film. Vixen. Okay, a female fox, or. A spirited or fierce woman, especially one seen as sexually attractive. Oh, okay. And it's a unless, term unless that you're... was used in like the 30s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless you're literally a fox girl, I don't think that's an appropriate term to be Bro, called in this day call, and age. You're gonna call him what? You're gonna call her a dame next? Is she a dame abroad? Okay. Behind her was a man with greasy black hair in a blue lab coat. His skin was light blue, and he had a scar under his left eye. They were here to steal a very special am amulet. The blue-skinned man was the one who wanted it. The vix- <sighs> Oh my god. The vixen didn't care what it did. She just loved to steal things. Can you stop calling her a vixen? I'm just a kleptomaniac, you know? God, I mean, her want but her wanting to just steal stuff, that's valid. <sighs> she go. How much? How much longer until we get there? My legs are cramping up. The blue-skinned man said. We're almost there, Draken. Gah! You really need to go on a diet. You've gained a few pounds. <laughs> she go says. Uh, she go said as she made her way in front of her boss. Draken pinches his stomach and growls. He keeps going on. Okay. J sh suddenly, Shigo stops. Drink. Draken bumps in her butt. Um. Okay. Oh, whatever you mean by that. Why did we stop? Draken asked, hoping that Shigo didn't feel him bumping in her butt before. Cl just clipping into her butt. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, uh oh. Shigo said alarmingly. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have had five burritos today. Okay. I don't think this will end Here's well. This thing. isn't starting good. I don't like this yeah. where this is going. I don't like the path yeah. that we're on. Okay, so here's the thing. When I first read this story, when I saw this line, I was like, what the fuck? Because how can you eat five burritos in one sitting? Listen, her magic powers uh, eat up a lot of calories, okay? Well... Here's the thing, you know, I'm Hispanic, you know, I bur I eat burritos. I can never eat five burritos in one sitting. Like, I mean, like, if you've been to Mexican, you've been to like a Mexican restaurant or whatever, usually the burritos they give you, they're like kind of big. Just imagine eating five of those. Uh, she clearly couldn't handle it. Uh, 
Yeah. Draken said with a scarred look on his face. Shigo heard well, sounds. Well, duh, he's got a scar on his face. Oh god, I hate this. 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 Shigo, well, someone might love this. Shigo heard sounds coming from her lower stomach. She tries to hold it in because she feels she's going to pass gas in the ventilation system. And right in her boss's face! Could There's it a great get, disturbance in the abdominal region. Could it get more embarrassing? A thought came to her. What if she did it while finding Kim? Oh, <laughs> if she did it. That would be so horrible. She would disgrace herself in front of her boss and her arch rival all in one night. She didn't think so. However, no matter how hard she tried to hold it in, she couldn't anymore. She bites her lower lip as the first gas comes out slowly. <laughs> Draken heard a uh, heard a faint sound come in the ventilation system. Is this a fetish thing? Is this a fetish thing? Cause it's, it's it's real. It's suspiciously detailed. It's like when it's like when an artist is like really really good at drawing like hands or feet or teeth or something. You know, it's like. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. At first he didn't know what it was. Then he smelled something very bad. He sniffed around trying to find the source of, a odor of the odor. He suddenly gets a disturbing thought. He looks at Shigo's butt oh, just and, now. His, and his fears were realized when suddenly... Shigo lets one go and goes right into Draken's face. <laughs> oh, come on, my bro. Oh, good God. Hold on, let me, let me, let me read my line. Oh, good God, Shigo, lay off the burritos, will ya? The first reasonable thing anyone has ever, ever has said here. I hate it here. I hate it here. <laughs> come yeah, on, there's gotta. Come on, I know you have some literary. I know I got some literary uh, chops to talk about farting. Come on, Luna. I think you got something. Draken says while fanning I mean, the air we could around. I, could... I mean, earlier in this recording, I brought up uh, Dante's Inferno, and I do feel like I'm in hell right now, so there's that. Oh, and by this recording, we're, we're recording... Uh, we just finished recording Andrea and recording this right now. Oh, I don't know, something, something, I don't know, a lot of Shakespeare was fart jokes. I don't know, leave me alone, I'm in distress. <laughs> Man, this is so humiliating, I gotta go to the bathroom! Shigo says as she punches a hole in the ventilation <laughs> shaft. She drops to the ground and runs like hell to the nearest bathroom. Man, this artist is definitely uh, this author is definitely a creative artist. Drake definitely. They're a, they're a, they're Draken they're falls. Fetish artists is what they are. Draken falls down and falls on his ass. He gets up and rubs his butt. He Can looks. You stop talking about asses, man, for like five seconds. <laughs> no. He's got yeah. The uh, author has to get creative with it because that's in their name. He looks around and sees what he's looking for. He saw it in a glass container with those things that they used to divide a space in two lines. Draco, uh, Draken. What? I don't know. Draken got <laughs> out his. What's going on? What does that mean? I don't freaking know. A glass know. container with those. Things that they use to divide a space into one. What? What? If anyone, what? If any one of y'all in the comments want to explain to us what that is, we would be very grateful. A laser? A mirror? Technically, splitting one laser into two. Divide a space into what? Uh, okay. Okay. Divide a space into. Oh. Uh, uh. I think I know what. It is, but I think they just worded it wrong. Moving on. I think he just wrote this wrong. Drake and God held his glasses and put them on. They were uh, there were infrared rays crisscrossing all around the container. 
He is about to pick up the container when Shigo calls for him. Okay, one second, it's gonna be loud. Draken! Shigo screamed while he was trying to get the amulet. Damn, that woman will be the death of me. Yeah, if she keeps farting in your face. Dra Draken takes off the glasses and goes to assist. Or, to put it in another way, see what Shigo needed. As he was about to go to the restroom area, Kim Possible jumps in front of him. Hold it right there, you loser! Kim says as she looks at him with those emerald eyes. Kim Possible! <sighs> Look, I've gotta go see what Shigo wants, okay? Yeah, can you just, like, hold on? We'll get to battle in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm currently having a bit of a day. <laughs> I would appreciate it if just for once in your life you could just, like, just be chill but just for a little bit. Well, it does say... Be chill. <laughs> it does say... Kimberly? No, really? <laughs> it does say... Kimberly? <laughs> <laughs> like, Kimberly, can we talk? Can we chill for just a moment? It does say in our unit contract that you can take a five minute break, so, you know, <laughs> sure, why not? And also, it, take like a, if you haven't showed up for 15 minutes, I guess we can just leave. <laughs> Drake. Continue with the yeah. say, Joaquin, do your bit. Yeah. Draken says, uh, walking past her. Where is Shigo anyway? Ron asks while he ropes himself down. She's in the bathroom. Too many burritos. Ronald, can we just do this later? I don't have time. Just ten minutes. Can we just chill for like ten minutes, please? Oh, don't worry. Uh, Take I... your time. <laughs> it's that easy. Draken says, stopping and looking back at Ron. So what do we do now? Ron asks while scratching his head. Uh, guess we'll wait. I mean, it says in our, in our uh, arching contract, <laughs> if someone's having gastrointestinal distress, we are contractually obligated to wait at least 15 minutes for them. Yeah. Kim crosses her arms and looks irritated. Draken made his way to the bathroom area. He stands outside of the woman's room. He knocks on it. Jago, are you... Okay in there. Draken knocks again. I'm going to die! <laughs> she uh, from the bathroom. Kim and Ron come up to Draken and uh, stand next to him. Is she uh, uh, done yet? Give the, look, give the woman a break, will you? She had five burritos. It's not her fault. She had to go while we were robbing the museum. Uh, um, it was her fault uh, for eating five burritos, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. Maybe, but maybe she just didn't know. Maybe she she's a real curious uh, vixen. Maybe she just forgot. Like maybe she just ate one and then she forgot, and then she <laughs> ate another and she forgot. <laughs> I had a burrito and forgot, and then another and another. I forgot. I forgot both times. And then I had a burrito. Then I forgot. <laughs> Wait, didn't I just eat a burrito? I don't know, it felt like it, but I don't remember, so I might as well get another one. Or get one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Draken stops as soon as he realizes what he just said. Uh, did, did, uh, shoot, did I just say that out loud? Were you not supposed to? I mean, I, yeah, we're not supposed to admit to, I mean, I am doing crimes, but like, I'm not really supposed to admit to it. You know, it makes legal system a little bit dicey. Uh, my lawyer's gonna be pissed. Why was he not supposed to say that? You're trying to keep because like, it was a embarrassing. Image. Trying to keep a perfect image that uh, women do not shit. Oh, I thought this was about him admitting to robbing a museum. It could have gone uh, either way. Yeah, either it way. Be, it could be either. Each one is bad. <laughs> Dragon asks, a little nervous. Yes, you sure did. A voice came from behind Draken. Shago, oh, you're fine. You're fine, aren't you? Draken asks as Shigo sees Kim and uh, Kim Possible and Ron. Oh, yes, I am. Shigo says as she lights up her flame hands. Kim oh, no, him. what have you done? The smell of shit is everywhere now. <laughs> Kim got into her fighting stance. 
she go through herself at Kim slashing, trying to slash Kim's preppy face. Kim fought back with fury as she attacked the oncoming Oh my god, can you stop calling her a vixen? Oncoming vixen with power and strength. Ron looked at this and he loved every minute of it. Draken slowly made it, makes his way to the container, puts on the glasses, and slowly takes the cover off. Being careful not to let the cover touch the lasers, he picked up the amulet. Ha 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 ha! Now I have the amulet, no one will stop me! Draken screams out loud. R R Ron runs up to him and pushes him down. The amulet gets on Ron's neck and seems almost to fuse with him. Shigo and Kim are still fighting. Shigo sees and stops. She jumps at him and is about to hit him when he she suddenly stops. Ron had his hands all over his face, cowering. He picked his eye through his hands and saw Shigo just stand there. He waves a hand in her face. Shigo's eyes turn into hearts as she falls to the ground. Has anyone ever told you to look cute in a fedora and trench coat? <laughs> oh my god. No. No <laughs> one's ever said that. The statement, you look cute in your fedora and trench coat, has never been said before. I saw someone dressed like that in the year of our lord, like 2022, like at my college. Like, I had left, um, like, my pencil pouch in my history class, and it has, like, all my art stuff in it. So I went, I go in to go get it, and I guess during that time of day, it's a math course, and sitting at the beginning of class, man, doesn't look like he gets much sun, has black fedora, is wearing a black leather trench coat, black pants, I couldn't catch his shirt, but I think it was something anime related. And I was thinking, y'all exist outside of Reddit? People dress like that? Y'all dress like that? I don't I know, guess the so. last time I ever saw someone wearing a fedora was back in high school. Same. The only acceptable reason to uh, wear a fedora in 2022 is you're doing, like, uh, a costume thing where you're trying to dress like someone from, like, the 1950s. Yeah, or, you know, you go into, uh, you go into like, uh, like, an anime or, like, a Comic-Con and dressing like that, like... If Julius can find it, just a put a picture of those two guys with a fedora and in one of the shirt that says, Nice meme, m'lady. Uh, I'll send it to him, but just put that picture on screen. Oh, that sounds terrible to see in person. That sounds simply dreadful. And you audience have the displeasure of seeing it right now. Yeah, this is what Ron looks like <laughs> in, in, in uh, this author's universe. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so now I guess um, Ron. Uh, we oh yeah, Ron runs up to him. And uh, now we finished Shigo, at, uh, the heart to the ground. Yeah, Shigo. Oh, you did. Yeah, Shigo oh. now loves his uh, him because the way <laughs> of his you, fedora you, trench I coat. Think, I think and, your line is up next. Uh, what yeah, the? And his, what uh, the? What the? What the heck is wrong with her? Ron asks as he went over to Kim and pointed at Shigo. I don't know, but we better. But let's leave before Dragon notices us. Kim says as she shots her grappling hook up th 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 ventilation systems and we're gone just like that. Dragon woke up, looked around, and sees Shigo just laying there with heart eyes on her face. She really loves. She also loves his uh, mountain Mountain Dew uh, <laughs> deodorant. Mountain Dew breath. It acts body spray. Uh, <laughs> what the what the what the what the hell is wrong with her? Dragon looks around looking for something. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Where's Kim and her dopey sidekick? Where's the end? Oh crap! That buffoon is my amulet! End of part one. Oh, and by the way, that's rude. That's not her dopey sidekick. That's the ladies' man now. <laughs> Surprisingly, I didn't peek with that shout. Amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried about that. I peeked a lot in, I was going to... in the past recordings. 
what I thought about doing for that line was setting down my headphones that I'm recording and just kind of walking away so the scream sounds like it's coming from a distance. <laughs> I'm sure whoever's in your house uh, appreciated you yelling out loud. All it's right. just my brother. It's uh, fine. <laughs> Yeah, my mom did walk in earlier, and she's like, Joaquin, what are you doing? Oh, by the way, coffee's ready. One time I was doing, like, a, me and some friends, we were doing, like, a, like a real-time fan dub of, like, the Doctor Who movie, and a running joke was that one of the characters was trying to force another character to be his father figure, so I kept saying very just, Father, please, father, father! And then my dad actually walked in and was like, Hey, Luna, are you alright? You've been calling me for, like, a while, are you? Are you okay? And then I had to explain, no, Dad, I'm doing a dumb internet thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, take your time. That's amazing. Okay. But either way, we got chapter, chapter two to deal with. Bueno Nacho Mayhem. <laughs> That's a good chapter no name. Thanks to R. J. B. for his ideas for this story. I'm giving credit credit is due peace out okay and uh when i uh when i first found the story i only read the first chapter so we're going in blind for the oh, second so you're going in raw yeah for the second chapter okay ron all right let's go, 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 go. ron kim and rufus were at bueno nacho talking about how stu how to take off the fuse amulet Wade was scanning it, trying to find an inscription on it, which might tell how to take it off. When he can't find anything, the scan ends. Well, anything, Wade? Kim asked, worried. Just do by like. By the way, why am I not affected by the amulet yet? Yeah. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry, Kim. I couldn't find anything on it, and I'm still not sure what it's supposed to do. Wade said while typing fast on his keyboard. This thing really itches. Ron said, scratching Don't his worry, neck. Ron. Oh, shit. Don't worry, Ron. We'll figure out how to take it off. Ron I said while... I was going to go for a Mountain Dew breath joke, but I couldn't think of anything yeah. in time. Kim said while putting the communicator back in her backpack. Oh, dude. Do you know what I just realized? We're still in the general voice channel. We were never in the recording channel. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's just fine. keep going. Uh, hold on, I'll just wait. All of a sudden, a bunch of girls crowd sitting a uh, crowd around Ron. One of the girls is Bonnie. They begin to touch his hair. Ron seems a little awkward. Uh, Bonnie. Oh, what are you and these girls doing? Why are all these girls touching my greasy hair? Kim asked with a eyebrow raise. Stoppable is so hot. I can't believe I never noticed it before. <laughs> eee! Oh, dude. He's like, maybe I'll get that cherry pie I asked for. Um, Bonnie said while okay. hugging Ron. Uh, so... Um, KP, I'm thinking I'm going to go order. I will be right back. And if you could clear an exit for me to leave, I would very much appreciate this. I I am not very comfortable right now. <laughs> Help! Ron said, getting up and making his way through the group of girls. Ron walked up to the counter. Ned was working today. Ned turned around with a big smile on his face. Unstoppable, I heard about you losing all $99 million a week ago. Ned said, taking a sip of his soda. Is that a, is that a thing that happens in one of the episodes, or...? Yes, well, it was kind of my fault. I knew that... I shouldn't have invested in Luna, but it seemed like such, you know, a, it seemed like such a sure deal. You know, it was supposed to be a stable coin. Um, I'm, I'll recover. Don't worry. Cryptocurrency I, my, jokes. My, my ape, um, my apes are, are doing not so great, but my Bitcoin's recovering. Um, 
I, I'll order a, a, a chimburrito. Come. Ron stops talking when the group d of girls crowds around him again. He looks left and right, left and right. What the heck is happening to me? Ron yells, turning around. It's like I'm in Minecraft. Wait, dude. <laughs> what? Did you I'm read my line? I'm, I'm surrounded by chicks and they all want my seed. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> what, what does that do with Minecraft? You know, chickens, they follow they follow you if you're holding wheat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God dang it. Lame puns, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ron yelled, turning around. Later, Ron was walking with Kim to her house. He looked annoyed. The girls were still following him. Kim looked at them a bit ticked. She found it strange that all of a sudden these girls would suddenly start following Ron around. When they get to Kim's house, Kim and Ron run inside and close the door behind them. Stay away from my man, sisters! Oh, my next line isn't that far off. Sorry, my house isn't big enough to hold so many skanks in it. <laughs> Entity cramming. Kim said, reopening the door and giving them the finger. <laughs> God damn, this bit, this this aim is making her catty as fuck. I mean, it's like a bunch of weirdos. Like, if a bunch of weirdos like came up to my friend and like, I'd be like, "Yo, I, I can, I can get you out of here. If you want to hide out at my house?" This is weird. And then you proceed. Being weird. You proceed to call them uh, skanks, Wally. <laughs> yes. And then give you. You open the door again to give them the finger. <laughs> Affectionately. Sorry. Uh, okay. Bonnie and all the other girls gasp at this comment and leave. Meanwhile, back inside, Ron was sitting at the table, drinking some water, trying to catch his breath back. Well, there's your problem. You can't drink and breathe at the same time, my man. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very strange. I wonder why all those girls start to gather around you, especially Bonnie, of all people. It must be my new Mountain Dew deodorant. <laughs> Kim said, walking around the kitchen. Uh, what he says is rather maybe it's a uh, maybe it's my animal Max. What? You know what they say? Some what? people are later. What? Bloopers. <laughs> my chicken comment wasn't that far off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ron said, licking his hand and dragging it over his hair. Oh my god. What? So, so he licked his hand and dra dragging it over his hair. Okay. It's like what all those old greasers used to do. That's what he's doing. Yeah, it's a very uh, movie thing. Kim, I've mm -hmm. never seen someone do that in real life, though. That would be disgusting. Kim looks at him yeah. with his eyebrow raised. One eye, one singular eyebrow. Got that DreamWorks face. Oh, so you, uh, oh, so you think there's another reason this is happening? That it couldn't possibly be my animal magnetism that caused those girls to follow me around. What does he mean? I mean, I've been, I've been keeping wheat, and I've been keeping carrots, and I've been keeping seeds, and it was only a matter of time. What animal Maybe. magnetism? What? Yes. Oh my god. Don't think about it. Whatever. Ron, asked a uh, Ron, there's no way in hell you turned into a ladies' man all of a sudden. The very fabric of the universe would crumble the day you became a ladies' man with the help of some magical talisman. Kim said. Okay, you don't have to be such. Okay, you don't have to be such a bitch, Kim. <laughs> you could be nice about it. Kim said, <laughs> You're very, being very hurt. Like, Ron crosses his arms and growls under his breath. Rufus looked at Ron and seemed a bit sad at Kim's comments about his friend. <sighs> Until we figure this out, you'll have to lay low. We can't come in school together. You need a disguise or those girls won't find you. Oh, but wait, that's dumb. The amulet's magic. Of course they'd find you attractive even as a disguise. On you. Shit, I can't speak right. Kim said, 
while walking back and forth. Man, I fi- I finally have a group of girls following me, and I can't even enjoy it. Ron screamed, uh, uh, raising his arms in the air. Kim looked at him with an eye brow raised. Ron chuckled a little nervously, shrugging. Is that all you can think about? Kim yelled at Ron. What? Hey, not everyone can get laid like you can, Miss Monkey. What? Oh, damn. <laughs> what? When was it ever implied that A, Kim was interested in anybody else, and B, had Hold sex on, with check. anyone? I need, to, I need to double check something about Kim Possible real quick. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. We can proceed. Why Monkey? Why Miss Monkey? Did we climb? Uh, uh... Did we miss an episode where she became climbing? a monkey and gave birth to a litter of monkey kids? Climbing? She can climb? Whatever. Climbing. Ron screamed this at her. And how did you come across this, Mr. Stoppable? Kim said, uh, Kim asked while crossing her arms. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The important things is that those girls finally started to notice me, and I like that. I get very little positive attention in my life. The last time somebody asked me if I was okay, it was a guy who shoved me down a flight of stairs <laughs> on purpose. And he was like, you good man? And then he left. <laughs> card in the corner. And I didn't press charges. <laughs> yeah, card Ron. Man. Shit. Ron, the only time Bonnie ever noticed you was the time you had $99 million from your Nako royalties, which I might add, you lost to Draken like a little dumbass that you are. He told me that Luna was going to the moon. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's cold, Kim. That's real cold. Ron said, looking the other way and putting his hand on his head. End of part two. Oof. Cool. And so, that's the uh, end. So why don't we take a look at I the mean, reviews. Well... Okay, let's go. But go. Uh, what were you going to say? I was just going to make another comment about the fact that he said he was going to update soon, despite the fact that it hasn't been updated yeah. in literally 18 years. So we got, yeah, we got quite... Uh, a lot of reviews on this one. Thirty-three. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we'll we'll start from the top. Ninja Wait. Master, January eleventh, two thousand ten. Great sh- update soon. From Brent three four five three. Man, this looks like a good story. Hope you update. Heavy Metal eighty four says, "I really enjoyed the story." Dark Eyes guest review. Man, dude, what is taking you so freaking long to update? I have been waiting forever. So far, the story is good. Oh, dude, Yoda. Yoda makes another appearance. Appearance. Posted. Hold on. Dark Eyes comment. And he said this. His comment was posted on May in May of 2005. The last time this thing was updated was like July of 2004. So like, keep up the keep keep hoping. Keep hoping, Dark Eyes. Keep hoping. Yeah. From Yoda. Wave hand in Jedi like fashion. You <laughs> you will update. <laughs> <laughs> not even update you <laughs> Yoda's not messing. Yoda Yoda's not messing around at all. Yoda's that pissed he forgot oh how he how he speaks. Oh my god. If um Okay, if people do not know what we're talking about, in case you haven't seen it, by the time this, uh, this video comes out, uh, An- the Andrea story by the same author, creative artist, has come out. And uh, this uh, Yoda guy is a guest review, and uh, he has left a comment on the Andrea story. And <laughs> I just love his reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's just, uh, like, nail to your co- oh oh that, John that's you nail to your coffin oh wait shit where's the where shit oh, I I lost track what uh, place now it's right below Yoda it's right after it's right after we're Yoda. going in order I love it 
And a nail to your coffin makes another. Well, I guess you can read that one also. Me like, me like. Yeah, okay. Uh, me like, me like. Write more, please. Okay, Alyssa. Keep going. Keep going or die. As in, uh, to use, uh, changing colors of things. Okay, Daug01 and only, October 24th, 2004. That story was cool. I didn't even know Gim had the guts to flick people off. <laughs> I want to read more. Keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, good, good luck on that. Good luck. Yeah, you're gonna wait a long time. Oh, fun fact, uh, October 24th, 2004, that was uh, two days after my fourth birthday. Oh, movie. Oh, that's cool. October 22. From, from, anon, anon, from Anonymous, I want more chapters. Please. Well, too bad. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Bad news, buddy. M got terrible news. Oh, God. M, this is such a 2000s Ooh, wait, name. I, I got, M. Dizzle. I got this. <laughs> yeah. I got this. Nemdurzle six number says, "Me likey this one. You get no flames. You get anti flames. <laughs> this very good story. Me stop talking like this now. Anyways, <laughs> oh, update soon, please. How are you guys going to react once Ron subconsciously has unconsciously stolen everyone's girls? I don't know. Good question. Good question. Good we'll question. never find out. Okay, Hermione girl seven. Hermione. Oh, are you gonna read this one? Right, I'll read that. Very good, but." What do you mean not everyone can get laid like you, this is monkey? I don't I don't get the monkey. Yeah, thing. me too. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, yeah, infinite in the wrong bit. context it could be seen as racist, I think. Yeah, that's why I was like, hold on, let me double check something. Okay. Ah. Infinite oh wait, no, not infinite. <laughs> in the finite bit says Alright, Ron finally gets some. Parchment says Kim's a bit out of character. Though, really good. From Fan Jimmy. I love this chapter. Keep up the good work. Okay, next page. Uh... Uh, I think we got I get, uh, think we got the general idea, I think. Yeah. It's just people, people saying, oh, Kim's a bitch. Cool story. I want to see Whatever. if we can find any like uh, pretty... Uh, interesting reviews like we don't have to read all of them on the second page but let's see if there's one that's i got stand. one i found a pretty decent review try to from from rjb <clears throat> oh this is the rjb that yeah. gave me the advice in the first chapter try to put a little less bad words in the second chapter please, please use these great ideas for the second chapter bueno nacho ron could be sitting in one of the booths with kim they are talking about the fused amulet, and a bunch of girls start crowding Ron. <laughs> Ron gets out of his seat, feeling uncomfortable. He tells Kim he's going to order his food. Ron goes up to Ned and says, Oh, oh, I'd like to order a chimrito comp. Ron stops talking when all the girls surround him again. Then Ron turns around and yells, What is happening to me? So he, he just copied that. The exact same scenario. Ron will get Ron will get used to the girls in the middle of chapter three, <laughs> and Kim won't fall in love with Ron because she already has a crush on him. Later, chapter six <laughs> or something, <laughs> Kim will find out that by telling Ron she loves him, it will infuse the amulet from Ron. How will Kim tell Ron her secret? You can come with something great for that. Nope. <laughs> also, make Drax and Jacob come with another evil plot in chapter four. I hope you will use my ideas. If you use these ideas, give some credit to RJB. Oh my god. Okay, I want to read Chris Warren's review. Um, Kim's a total bitch. Go ahead. Tim, Kim's a total bitch in this story. I think Ron should, like, fucking leave her if she's such a little bitchy hoe. Anyways, nice idea, but Kim's character is way too bitchy. Hurry up and update. <laughs> Someone was writing this story while I was like, I can't believe that someone was some, somewhere. Someone was penning this review, and at the same time, I was like, learn. I was like learning how to walk. That just hit me. Uh, yeah, someone was writing this story while I was in uh, preschool. 
Okay, last one. This was my new favorite. Midnight Blue Crusader says, ay yay ay three minutes are all it took, then blam! You can say that again. Blam! Down, boys. You're a ladies' man immediately, man. Is he trying to sell me something? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then Blake Michelin. All the good reviews. Nice story. When's the next all chapter coming? <laughs> I, <laughs> can't, I, I cannot page three, wait. By the way. Uh, so anyway, uh, that was, that was the story. That's all the good reviews. All the rest yep. of the reviews are just variations of please update, please yeah. update, please update. And Yoda's great um, review. <laughs> but the updates never came. Yeah, uh, well that's, that's it. Um, we've only, like, uh, uh, we've only read two stories so far by creative artists, but I think I'm starting to like <laughs> this author. Yeah, we can we can uh, continue recording later. I I can't sit. I got to do other things. Um, Either way, what? catch y'all later. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching or listening to in the background of your Minecraft server. Uh, <sighs> donut like, uh, donut read. Um, uh, make sure to like, like, and comment and subscribe. Uh, don't. Don't respond or comment to any of the authors we read. Like, don't, don't, just please don't, don't, do not, don't do it. We'll make fun of you if you do. Hey, it's Joaquin here, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow us on any social media platform, uh, we'll leave links to those in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching and peace out everyone.